Okay, guys, today I will be showing you how we maintain our handcrafted whelping box. I made this box out of plywood that I purchased from Menards. Um, this cost me about 80 bucks, 85 bucks after taxes. Um, I could have purchased it for maybe about 55 bucks after taxes, but I paid um, probably about an extra 20 bucks because I wanted a camouflage floor. Um, but if I would have just got the uh, regular plywood, I probably could have got it for $55. The reason I went this route was because all of the uh, pre-made whelping boxes that they sell online start off at about $299 bucks, um, before shipping and taxes. So I figured I could just make my own out of plywood that I can purchase from an arch. All you need is an impact drill and some wood screws and plywood. Um, that piece of cloth you see there um, is drilled on, wrapped, drilled on, uh, the cloth is wrapped around two by four and I drilled it in place. That is there for my bitch to elevate her head while she is in labor and uh, whelping the uh, puppies. Um, online, you can see they nail those up um, all the way around in three to uh, four corners. Um, I didn't see it being a necessity to um, lessen the square footage of the box so um it's 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 pretty efficient just on one wall um she utilized it she didn't really need it on uh, all four corners um she actually liked having her head on a flat surface more so than um on the uh elevated two by four she did use the two by four but um not as much as having it flat so um that would even take up more room if i use all four corners and she wasn't even utilizing them that lessens the square footage by uh pretty much uh, a lot but back to the welcome box um i cover mine in plastic because i don't want feces getting on my plywood the reason why you don't want feces on your plywood is because you, for one you don't want your box to stink but um at this stage you know the puppies have worms and they're being dewormed so um you don't want to contaminate it and you always want to be able to uh, keep it as clean as possible. And the most efficient way to do that is to uh, purchase some plastic from Walmart or Home Depot. It's only uh, maybe about six to seven bucks. And you get a long roll. It lasts me about a week, and I change mine out every day. Um, now, so with the plastic being down, um, you want to place something on top of it that will um, absorb the uh, liquid. You don't want the uh, pups crawling on plastic because they'll be just absorbing all the urine up in their pretty coats and you don't want them to have urine all over their coats so the best way to uh keep that from having puddles is to uh throw a blanket down or some newspapers i just throw a blanket down and i wash it at the uh local laundromat the uh, public laundromat i don't throw them in my washing machines but um i just use some bleach and some detergent and it, it comes out pretty good um, you don't let them get bad, so it's not too bad. It's only 24 hours, and then it's changed out. So another thing I forgot to tell you guys, when you are changing your box out, you always want to uh, have a separate box or a temporary location for the puppies so they're not squirming around on the floor. And I keep mine in a box um, there while I am changing my box out. So thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to the Education TV station. If you guys have any uh, request or anything you want to see feel free to ask in the comments and we'll get back at you as soon as possible